North American native fish are not only the fish that started my aquarium hobby, but also the fish that I've kept the longest. I've kept Florida gar, black crappie, and recently some rainbow trout. Now around the same time that I got the trout, I got a pair of fantail darters. These little fish were originally added just to add some life to the bottom of the tank. However, the more I watch these fish, the more I realize that they have a ton of personality and they're actually really cool. You know, sometimes in the morning I'll wake up and to go take a look at the fish room and sometimes I'll just get so captivated by these fish that I sit there in front of the tank for, you know, 30, 45 minutes, sometimes an hour just watching them dart around and uh, eat some brine shrimp and fro frozen bloodworms. Uh, you know, they're just super cool and I never thought that I would actually enjoy keeping them as much as I do. Currently these darters are being housed in a 30 gallon long aquarium that was set up to pretty much mimic their natural environment as much as possible. A reason why I did this is, you know, I would like to see the fish act uh, naturally uh, as they would in the wild. And the best way to do that is just recreate their natural environment. So a lot of the stone in this tank was locally sourced. The wood in there was found in my backyard which is pretty much down the road from where i collected these darters and uh the only thing in here that doesn't really match uh their ha natural habitat is the pool filtration sand however that's the only substrate that i really had on hand at the time that i set this up so uh and i wasn't going to go collect any from the river so uh i just used that and they don't seem to mind all that much these little guys get pretty much the same diet I feed all of my other fish, uh, and it's pretty varied. You know, I feed frozen bloodworms, frozen brine shrimp, also some cocktail shrimp and frozen tilapia, uh, you know, just as a base mix. And I do supplement with some live earthworms, you know, daphnia, uh, you know, sometimes some live brine shrimp, and uh, oh, also some uh, live blackworms from time to time. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty similar to what a lot of fish eat in the wild, so I feel pretty comfortable feeding this to all my fish. Of course, I would recommend keeping fantail darters to anyone with some experience in the aquarium hobby. However, for anyone looking into keeping North American species, they would be a great starter fish. They're super hardy and will teach you quite a bit about what it takes to set up and maintain a proper stream aquarium, and as a bonus, their small size makes them ideal for people with tanks that are 10 gallons or larger. Anyway, that's all I have for this video, but I really enjoyed making it, and I will definitely continue to make more content similar to this in the future. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. I'd really appreciate it, and uh, consider subscribing. See ya.